John, so I'd, I'd love to start. So the sanctuary thing is a big issue because yeah. one of the cool things about our, our team is we're actually based out of Texas. Okay. And I, yeah. one of your last shots of your film showcases how much this issue is a part of that state in particular. Yeah. Um, but I want to start with how did you meet this council member? How did this story come about? Yeah, absolutely. So um, first, I, I, this is a co-direction with uh, Julius yeah. Ramba, who um, isn't uh, couldn't be here, but um, we had started talking about doing a project together um, and you know we're always interested in stories that kind of tap into um, what we're seeing in society and you know across the country but how we can tell those in a really intimate personal way and I stumbled across this uh, Lebanon wasn't the first sanctuary city I found but I was reading an article about where um, some city where this legislation had been placed on the docket and hadn't passed and started researching and then um, found the story of Krista's story where she had done a couple interviews and a couple articles talking about her decision to resign and uh, her perception of this uh, policy and so I just reached out to her and the, one of the first things she said and then you know she and Julia and I did several phone conversations but um, on those she said you know I've been looking for a way to tell this story for a long time and that's I think um encouraging to hear as a filmmaker it's also some weight uh and <laughs> and some added responsibility felt to to tell the story honestly and truthfully and respectfully but um that's something you should always be doing too and so we started having conversations and eventually um decided to to do a trip there and, and film and work to tell her story how quickly did you come across her storm chasing storm watching how did that kind of fold in i love that element to yeah. the story yeah um honestly the um the we, we she told us about that in our kind of pre conversations, but it wasn't until um, you know we we kind of thought okay it'd be it'd be cool to you know film you doing some of this storm spotting work just to kind of speak to how you're um, serving your community now or or your you know continued dedication to this community public service um, but it wasn't until really in the course of after filming and, and kind of getting the footage of that really dramatic. Um, shot of the storm rolling into town um, that we kind of thought, well, maybe this can also speak, be a larger metaphor for kind of um, the, you know, threats that Krista perceived with this um, sanctuary city for the unborn movement and this policy, right? And it can be a larger metaphor for kind of this storm coming and passing and kind of um, Krista staying there and, and continuing to be a presence in the community despite that. Is there any way, do you have any updates from the film? Like, can you give us anything from the film to right now? So, um, updates, kind of like policy-wise or, yeah. or yeah. Are they still a sanctuary city? Is that all? They still are. There's been some kind of, they've had to clarify some language due to some, some lawsuits. And so I think um, they've since, um, there's still a sanctuary city for the unborn, but some of the um, policy charging people for aiding and abetting um, has been reduced a bit but they still have that um, sanctuary city status. And, you know, one of the things we wanted to tap into with this film, too, is um, just this kind of like patchwork degree of access or of rights, depending on where you live. And I think that's happening statewide and also happening at the city level, too. And um, Ohio did have does have a referendum um, coming up in November statewide for um, abortion access, abortion rights uh, to be, you know, constitutional rights in the state. And so that's kind of something that these these folks in Lebanon who um, folks like Krista, I think, are, are involved in and are hoping for, um, you know, uh, codifying those rights. You know. Do you mind if we talk about that bigger idea? Because it's obviously something yeah. that is spreading across the nation. Like we uh, mentioned earlier, Texas is kind of leading the way. It has the majority of the sanctuary cities of unborn. Um, yeah. What is this? I mean, it's a lot of this are city councils or, or, or small government. And yeah. is explain more. John. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think, you know, central to the film is this idea of home. Um, and uh, even the title sanctuary, I think, has kind of a double meaning, too, of, you know, this being Krista's home that she's known her entire life. And I think what we're seeing is across the country, um, 
you know, these city councils, school boards, all these local government bodies are kind of um, becoming places where national political fights are, are being held. Um, and I think, you know, it's there's it's a tough reality to look at because in some senses, you know, maybe local government should be more involved in those issues. Right. Maybe it should. um be a space where we don't, you know, pretend that these these forces aren't happening, but also it it results in, um, you know, Krista is someone where she she talks about seeing city council and seeing public service at that local level as being about infrastructure and budget and and that kind of being lost, right? And now it's the space where, you know, it mentioned kind of in terms of in order to contextualize this larger evolution, you know, the policies on guns and denying a human relations commission and all these things. So I think it's something we're seeing statewide. And it's um, I think it's, you know, the film is we try to make it very personal and intimate and uh, focus on one person's experience. And I think that's probably something that a lot of people can relate to. Right. This the town that they call home, the uh, maybe they've always lived there. Maybe they've only lived there for a few years. But now it's um, becoming a space where these larger battles are being held at the most local level. And I think it it challenges um people's perception of those spaces and it also but there's the counterpoint too where you know Krista doesn't want to leave right there's still some tie to this space too and I think um you know, our the our country is more complex than red states and blue states. I think there are or blue cities and uh, red rural areas. I think there are people who defy both of those categorizations in in all of those spaces, right? So, yeah. I don't want to give it away, but yeah. one of the kind of big moments in the film is obviously the speech she gives and what she says in particular, mm -hmm. which I think gets to what you're talking about the the purpose of these types of entities. Um, yeah. What do you hope people gain from seeing this film? Is it knowledge of the changing of the councils? Is it her fight and will to continue to hold on to it? I mean, what do you want people to gain from your film? Yeah, I mean, I think awareness is something that we want people uh, to get from this film, like awareness of, you know, the influence you can have at the local government level, right? Like what, um, you know, Krista, we've, we've continued to talk with her and, you know, is hope hopeful that at some point they get someone or they get a council where a lot of people are more focused on um, let's do let's do the things that are most pressing for our community right like let's uh, balance the budget or, or make sure our infrastructure is up to um, up to speed and, and all of those things right so I think that awareness is certainly key but I think um, it also shows you know Krista I think is such a strong messenger for this issue because she, she's a, a firefighter, a paramedic, um, EMT. She's responded to calls what and and responded to situations where um, someone was fearful about, um, act, you know, revealing their pregnancy or or um, wasn't sure where to go for abortion access or was or fearful of the responses that would be had there. And she's seen that up close and personal. And I think, you know, sometimes we think of these issues just in terms of this is my position and I'm on this side or I'm on this side. And we don't think we don't listen to people who have you know experienced the fallout of a lack of access right to these rights. And so I think I hope it's a chance to to listen to someone like Krista, who um, through 30 years of public service and beyond, right, has um, encountered these issues up close and personal. And I think we, we can't ignore that. What does it mean to showcase it here at Tallgrass, a community that I think can gain a lot from this knowledge? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, we we really, you know, I think th this is a film that's, um, I think, relevant in a lot of places. And I think, you know, Tallgrass is such a, I think, important voice for independent filmmaking and independent stories. Right. And um I think, you know, you could see similarities, you know, Julia and I are both from the Midwest and, and from like the heartland. And there's a lot of stories in this region, I think, that um, tell us a lot about national identity and tell us a lot about the um, issues that we're facing as a country. Right. So it's really important to showcase it in towns and cities that might be grappling with these same challenges at some point. And so um, and also the folks at Tallgrass are just, you know, a great, great team of people who I think really value value putting on a um, independent and, and filmmaker focused festival where um, 
you know, we get to, to engage with audiences and, and talk about some of the issues embedded in these films, too. Did you just screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just screened this morning. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> it was great. It was, um, you know, a fantastic lineup of short documentaries um, dealing with, you know, a variety of issues and, and different visual approaches to and, and sonic approaches to, to treating those issues. Um, so it was great. And, and the chance to do a Q&A and, you know, answer some of the questions that people had and just speak with people after. And um it's 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 awesome to be able to do that and, and talk about the films and, and see people's responses in a theater too right yeah. and and see the moments that you can kind of feel you know a collective breath right or like a release of tension or a laugh or um, you know or moments that are really still and calm too so it's it's a beautiful experience to be able to do that very cool um, can you share with us where people can find more about this film, but also work that you guys are doing and, and where we can learn more? Yeah, absolutely. So um, right now we're just housing the film on, uh, or the information about the film on my website. Um, so johnhaleyfilms.com. Um, Julia and I are both on Instagram though. And, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to keep, I think, collaborating too and, and do more work. So yeah. Um, and we, yeah, we have some screenings coming up at festivals like New Hampshire and St. Louis and Santa Fe and a couple others. Um, so we're excited to, you know, keep showing uh, the film in, in other spaces too, uh, Virginia too, and, and a couple others. So um, anyone who's in those uh, communities or nearby can also catch the film at those festivals too. And we're keeping a list too of, um, all the festivals it'll be screening at on that website too. Well, John, I really loved watching your doc. I think it's an important one. I loved meeting Chris. She's such a dynamic person and um, it's such a tricky subject. So I love that you guys touched upon it in such a intelligent way. There wasn't a, uh, an agenda I felt and that was appreciative. So thank you for making the film. Thank you so much for watching it. Yeah. yeah.